Thanks for tuning in today. I'm Kathy Selig, a longtime member at Fumco and also the CEO of Friendly Center, a local nonprofit in Orange. And today I wanted to share an important Bible verse with you and also give you an update on what's going on at Friendly Center during the pandemic and quarantine. So first of all, out of Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I don't know about you, but I really need to keep my faith strong during these times. And having a strong faith gives me hope that we will get through this and come out on the other end in good shape. For those of you who don't know, Friendly Center is a family resource center. We work with low-income families providing a variety of services to help them and to keep children safe in their homes. So those services are after-school tutoring, mental health programs, domestic violence intervention, case management, food distribution, whatever that family needs to keep them stable. And it's been a real challenge when everything just pivoted back on March 16th. We got word on a Thursday that things were closing down and by Monday noon, Friendly Center had made a cons complete switch to remote services, which was quite amazing and quite a feat. Suddenly we were all at home working remotely and how do you do that? We haven't been a organization that works remotely. We are face-to-face, -face. we're hands-on, we listen to people, they come in our lobbies. We tutor the children, we are with them, and suddenly that was all taken away. And this reminds me of the author William Bridges who talks about the uh, transition of change or the, and the three phases that people go through during change, the transitions. And first is the ending, and I think back in March, it was such an abrupt ending that I couldn't possibly really believe it had happened. How can we suddenly be forced to work from home and not do what we've been doing, not serving the people who need us? Well, we didn't have any choice. We were told, though, that it might only last two weeks. So you know what? Sometimes you think, well, you just tough it out. Two weeks, we can do anything for two weeks. We'll get it figured out. Well, two weeks has turned into months, and uh, there's really no end in sight. Every time we inch forward, we get kind of thrown backwards. So the second phase from William Bridges is a neutral zone. And we've been in the neutral zone for a long time. And during the neutral zone, you, zone, you realize that you're never going to go back to what you had. And, and there's mourning and there's sadness because you kind of like the way things were. Sometimes you don't realize how much you like the way things were, but you start seeing those things go away. Uh, I mean, you can't even get a haircut. So there is such a loss. You can't do things the way you did. And, and you try to plan and planning is no good. And for some of us who think, ah, oh, I live day by day, I don't need to plan anything. Suddenly those people are now realize that, yeah, planning is a part of our daily lives. So what do you do? You just have to start accepting this and it's, it's not pleasant. But I think the more that we live in the neutral zone, we realize that we need to start creating a new beginning. And I feel that's really where Friendly Center is at right now, that we are creating a new beginning. We are starting, the rules to the game have changed and we know those rules now. Basically, it's wear a mask, wash your hands, sanitize, say six feet apart, so we know we have those rules to live by. And, um, and in the new beginning though, we still have leftover fear from the neutral zone. For instance, for Friendly Center, bringing staff back to work has been challenging because they're fearful. They don't wanna catch COVID from their fellow coworkers. We all don't know what everyone does when we're not at work, but hopefully there's trust and we're all doing the right thing. And um, we're taking the right precautions so people can be together. And that's what we're doing at Friendly Center. Our staff is staggered, so we're never all in the building at the same time or in any of our buildings at the same time. And uh, we've you know, moved all our programs remotely, but now in the new beginning, we're bringing them back. So we've been doing emergency serv services, food services um, by appointment and social distancing and wearing masks between us and the clients. We uh, have now started utility assistance face-to-face -face because some of our clients, while they could have done the service uh, online with us that they don't have the tools to be able to do that. So we meet with them at a picnic bench behind our building, social distancing, wearing masks, and we're now able to help clients with a utility assistance. 
we're looking forward to having a drive-through mobile food distribution. There again, pop the trunk. I'm sure you've seen these on TV. Well, we want to do one of those in orange very soon, as soon as we find the location. So I've asked staff, you know, be creative. How are we going to do what we need to do? And they have to be part of the solution. We have to all work together to be part of the solution. And I think when we can get through the fact that things are not going to be the way they were, that we need to move forward, there's still people out there that need help. In fact, those numbers are significantly growing, that uh, we are here to help. And when I think back of those men who started Friendly Center back in 1924 from the Men's Ecumenical Bible Study Group, they had lived through a pandemic and they had the vision to start Friendly Center. Friendly Center is here today and we are living through another pandemic and we'll be there tomorrow. So I invite you to join Friendly Center and be in part of the solution. If you'd like to help, please check out our website. It's friendlycenter.org. We have all the rules for donations and, and social distancing and everything that we're working with and what we need on that website. And we just really need the community support. Everything has changed, but we're here and we're going to continue on. Dear God, we thank you for your everlasting presence in our lives. In you, we have courage to face present challenges, knowing that only you can give us peace to go forward. Lord, we pray to keep our faith alive and strong as we continue to serve you and carry out your will in our world. In Jesus' name, amen. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. And I will continue to live by those words. Have a great day.